Y'all ready? ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? ready? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life but we don't take life too seriously and we hear the stories of everyday people. My name is Shireen and we got Sai in the building and we're talking about side hustles. Cue the intro! about side hustles so you have been side hustling for a long time right yeah it's been um, like a few years actually yeah um, give us give us the, the journey right. so um, long story short or like long story medium I'd say, um, <laughs> long story medium. yeah so when I was in college I was at Loyola University of Chicago shout and, out shout out Loyola <laughs> and my brother and I <laughs> go Ramblers he and I should we were like, let's start a company, and then we we're like, let's start Chris Media. We started a company called Chris Media. Okay. And Loyola had um, camera rentals, so we started shooting videos. Yeah. And then investing in ourselves, and then we bought our own camera equipment. Yeah. And then from there, we did a lot of shows, a lot of Bollywood shows. We actually did work with Future and Esco, which is really cool. That was like the okay. highlight. Taking photos of these yeah. artists on stage. What if I learn to make music like the people on stage? Yeah, photos yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I love right. that hustle mindset. Right? Yeah. So like, I'm what else can that. I do? What else can I do? Right? right. I'm in the arena. I'm in this. I'm on stage. Yeah. Let me just move from off stage to on stage. Right. So um, I went back to everyone's favorite university, YouTube. Oh. Okay. Go on YouTube. You can go on YouTube. <laughs> Google how to use Logic Pro. Yeah. Why did I choose Logic Pro? It's on my MacBook. Yeah. Use what you have. The biggest thing I learned yeah. with the side hustle is a lot of people look at people who are really su successful in their field, yeah. in the field that they're trying to get into. You gotta stay in your lane. You gotta stay in your lane and use what you have to build. And don't you know? compare yourself to other people. Never do that. I did that initially and it was... It's dangerous. Like no matter it goes what, down. Yeah. it's gonna make you feel like shit. It's gonna make you feel like you ain't good enough. And it's because their journey is different from yours. Like how Every long have single, they been yeah. working at this shit? Yeah, exactly. I've yeah. always been working. My first job was at 15. I worked at Hallmark. Yeah. And then I had to quit because my grades were slipping. Oh my God. And then, I, my life and then I think I started working again at like 16 or 17. I've just always been working. I had a lot of friends who were on dance team. I loved Bollywood music and yeah. I loved hip hop music. Yeah. So what I did was I just started like seeing like I used to listen to Bollywood at home or in movies and then obviously when you go to a club, I, like I live in Chicago so we hear hip hop. These two songs sound so similar, let me yeah. just put them together. And it sounded good and right. people started liking it. The story of like the Indian American. It's crazy, I'm like yo, this melody sounds exactly like this melody from T-Pain. And I'm it like, sounds what? fire together. It sounds fire together. And yeah. I'm like, let me put this together. I put it together, I actually joined a collective, there's a South Asian collective called DDN, Desi Dance Network. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually, uh, Going back to Chris Media, we actually filmed a lot of their uh, dance competitions across the country. That's so Like man. University of Iowa, Texas, we went all over the country doing yeah. live streams, helping people who weren't in the auditorium experience that experience. So the first name I thought was uh, DJ Chutney. Because you know, DJ Chutney is like, Chutney. <laughs> such a throwback. That is terrible. The so next one was a boy with a bag. Okay. So that's what I have currently. I like that. I think that's fire. And fired. that came up because I realized like in pop culture, like secure a bag is the whole thing. Yeah. And um, to be clear, a bag is not referring to weed. This bag is referring to money. So not, it's a about every, weed, not a bag of weed, not a bag of weed. bag of coke. No, no drugs. Say no, no. drug. Say dare. no to drugs. Dare. Remember the dare program. A boy with a bag can be your brand and your name can be said. That's exactly what actually I'm trying to go. So because I'm that's how I am. That. So my brand is Upside Down Smiley, but I don't refer to myself as Upside Down Smiley. That's a good idea. I am Shereen that's a good idea. from the Upside Down Smiley brand. Working has always been a better fit for me than school. Like, oh, I just like to work, yeah. I like to do shit, I li I, I'm the kind of person that likes to learn on the job. So I started my hus side hustle journey, I think it was four years ago. I started learning event production from an event planner that was like an established planner. Uh -huh. And then I got my first client, I think later that year. Like pretty That's quickly. Amazing. That's amazing. Because like yeah. Malayala people are like dope as fuck and they like, you know, they just believe in you and they support you. And I, I'm so thankful for all yeah. the freaking Malayali people that like, hired me to be a wedding planner and I did that shit for four years and I hated that's, it but that's cool I love y'all I love working with you guys I, I love weddings like weddings are so important because it's the start of a marriage and I'm very I'm a huge believer in marriage this is a whole nother video yeah about why I stopped doing wedding planning and now we do an other kind of event production and we got upside down smiley and that is that is why I got many 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 side hustles. I, they're not really side hustles They're just like a bunch of main hustles So is that like a goal for you to make this a main hustle one day? Hopefully yes one okay. day I do want but here's the 
not a downside, but yeah. like, like my full time job, I work as like a product communication special at a yeah. startup. Yeah. And the thing is, it's not a problem, but like I love my job so much. Actually, I started at the startup when I'm really thing. small. That is a beautiful thing. So um, maybe I was, talk I was thinking the other day, is it because I love my job so much that I'm not pushing as hard into DJing, mm -hmm. you know? Because I've seen people, like, you know, they talk about stories how like I, think I hate my job, really so I'm, 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 I'm going to focus on this. Yeah. It's, it's a like, blessing that you like your job. Honestly, okay. it is a blessing, and you can fund your side hustle. That's the biggest. That's why I look at. It. I'm like, yo, I'm funding my you side hustle. I have the time. Yes. And like my my job, like my manager is amazing. He's like, you know, he's Shout proactive. Out to manager. He's proactive on music too. I, I share my music with him. Yeah. Like, yo, he that's shows the engineering team. Like, yo, here's some new cool that's music. That's beautiful. You know? Like your your main hustle should be aware of what you're doing, yeah. and they should be supporting that shit so more like, to you than your freaking job. Yeah, it's not just like you're there nine yeah. to five and you leave. Like, thing is, like, I'm so invested even in that because like I was there with the startup since like almost the beginning yeah and, like my role at the company I was a really creative spot yeah so I feel like produce like creative graphics and even like background music yeah I like produce our company's background music for like videos that I put and out and that like, is you your know? work that's my work so like yeah it's they can great. put you on so like my nine to five is exciting and my five to nine is exciting that's fire dude. So, like that's what I like about it and you know a lot of times I think you look at it that way where I'm at work, I'm trying to fund my side hustle. Like, yeah. you're trying to fund your side hustle. Like, yeah. regardless of whether you like your job or not, like, think about it that way. Don't think about it like, I'm here, you know, I hate this, I hate this. Because yeah. if you do that at 5 p.m., you're going to be so tired. You're going to be so drained. And you're not going to be able to do that 5 to 9. That's how I was. So I was really drained. Maybe, maybe the mindset of like, yo, I'm just here to put these 9 to 5 hours to go work from 5 to 9 on my hustle. Yeah. And like, you don't even think about it at work. Like, thinking like, you're literally making like capital like you're, yeah. you're raising money yeah you're you raising that funds way. you're raising funds or nine to five don't think, think about, about it, like it as like you're these you're your biggest investor your biggest investor it's a it's like you're investor so you're trying to please them so if they need you to do something at work and you're not, yeah. like, I'm not a big you're not a big fan of it just do it like and the biggest thing i've realized and is egos can get in your way yeah at work in the creative field yeah like i want credit for the own credit for that and i want to say in a way i'm blessed that i can afford to actually um, do some gigs for free here and there from like trying to for get sure. promotion. Yeah, I understand not all artists can do it You have to start things. somewhere. Also, don't quit your job too early. Don't like, understand. Yeah, quit, don't quit your job too early Like you have to, you have to know what you're doing. I need to you know? do a video on quitting my job It's been an emotional ass roller coaster. I have been depressed. My anxiety has been Man. super high There are moments where I'm literally sitting on this couch like not doing a single thing like wasting my goddamn time and it's like, yo, you guys see me right now, I am confident, I know what the fuck I want, I know what the fuck I do, I know what I can contribute to the world. Yeah. I am not always that person. And I need to be more that person. Everyone leave an upside down smiley in the comments below. <laughs> I've gotten messages about people like wanting to try something and they're like, I don't know where to start, I don't know, no, no, no. I get it. You don't know where to start, so just freaking start. That's the biggest thing. That's just a really good start. piece of advice. You start. And to be honest, you're gonna suck at first. Cause yeah. I did too, like some of my first mixes, actually I made them private a while back, but I made them public again. Yeah. Because then someone can see my latest song, and you they can love see the it, progression. and they're like, oh, you actually progress. Otherwise if they see your, if you keep working on drafts on drafts, and then you put only one thing out, they're gonna judge that as your first piece of yeah. content. Just put it out but in the But if you world. see every, they see everything like, oh, actually, you weren't that good, but you took time to like work on all of these. Because that's the and reality. This is great. Yeah, because it's, 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 it's relatively the good. And then yeah. you know, they, they know you're going to get better because they saw you get better. Yeah. But if they just see like step 10, they're like, oh, this is your step one. Right. So, and I think a lot of times that's what we see like successful people's step 10 or yeah. step 20, right? Yeah. And we're like, damn, they're just fucking good. Like, how do I get there? No, focus on you. There's just so freaking yep. start and keep your job and if you don't like your job try to get another job that you do enjoy yeah you gotta just stay focused man another thing with also about the funds and the, and the job part is like you have to cut down your expenses i understand yeah. like sometimes yeah. you know as an artist you might be like yo i gotta go to the club to do this or i gotta like have fun you have be, fun be smart but be smart with your finances the biggest thing budget. i learned was a budget and I learned how to use Excel recently. I don't want to say that as like, I'm not even that good at Excel, but I learned stuff at work. Excel is a good I use it at home. Skill. I put down what my rent was, what my yeah. food was. I'm like, okay, I have this much to invest in my career. Yeah, track that what I'm shit. Doing. And now I feel more financially free. Like I was, I got to come here, I got a regular Uber. Usually I'd be like, yo, get I always, should I get on the train? Should I do Uber this? Should X, I do this? Uber you know? X, Uber X, X, Uber everywhere. <laughs> my friend just shared this quote with me and it was, everything in life is for you. Everything yes. that you interact with, everyone that you meet, you just need to take it as like a sign, a gift. Everyone has 
like so much to give to the world. I know I yeah. sound so fucking hippy dippy. Nah, no, you don't. It's, but like, I truly, is. truly believe it. And after I heard that, I was like, man, like I am great. You are great. Yes. You are great. You just need to focus on what you are great at. We all have greatness in us. And, yeah. And to go literally off of that, like part two of that, what I would add to that is when you don't ask the universe or like, when you don't ask the universe for something, it's a no because you no, didn't ask. No, you didn't ask. But if you ask, there's a 50% chance to yes. Yes so or no. So would you take a 50-50 chance or would you take a 0% chance? Right. You would take a 50-50% chance. Yes. It still might be no, but that means every no gets you closer try. to a yes. Yes. Because, you know, you get no's, 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 okay, you get a yes. You know how many you know? no's I get or no response? Crickets? It's crazy, man. Yo, you got to try. And you got to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. You have to be your biggest supporter. Sometimes, yeah. like, I work on a track and it's like, I don't know if this is good. And then my buddy Chevy used to be like, dude, you got to believe in your own track. If yeah. you don't, like, why would it, why would someone else be invested in you yeah. if you're not invested in you? A lot of times you might be self-conscious and artists like, oh, I don't know what people think. Most of the time people are actually not thinking about you. They're thinking about themselves. Yeah. Like, they're like, like, not in a, like, a selfish way, but they're, no. kind of, they're trying to say, like, <laughs> how are they doing? Like, I want yeah. to improve myself. Comparing themselves. Yeah, they might be looking at you, but everyone's trying to compare themselves. Like, yeah. everyone's seeing everyone else's highlight. Everyone's just so trying to make it. Knows. Like, don't worry about yeah. what other people think about you. Everyone is doing the same thing as you. Everyone's just trying to put out their best version of themselves. Yeah. Everyone is just trying to figure it out. And the biggest way... I would say I would say you could grow is give more than you can get. Yes. Because in the future you will get that back. And give, don't expect give, it. Just give, keep give, giving. Give. Like, like literally just to give serve the world. Yep. That is what we're supposed to be doing in like that's why we are here. To serve. Exactly. To and help, to you give. You give out, give out, and eventually you'll get it. But don't think about getting your back. Because if you think about that, you'll start yeah. taking a, a, a like a tally of like, oh I gave like Oh, I talk. I said good morning like 25 people today, but no one said anything. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Who just cares? Say, just say it. I'll do what it doesn't you... cost anything to be kind at all. Yeah, like, no. It's, zero. And, like, it's free 99. Free it's 99. 99. So, you, you have you know? control only of yourself, and that's all you need to worry about. That's all you have to worry about. And then put on your smile. Put on your smile. If you have an idea for a side hustle, if you are thinking about a side hustle, please just go try. Google it, YouTube it, and just go try. We do videos every single week, every single Tuesday, and then I'm gonna be doing a live with my guest okay. every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for having and you're me. you're Uber X. Thank you. Love, love, Appreciate love, love, love. it. Follow our page on Instagram. <laughs> Are you on Twitter or Facebook? I am. Shereen okay. M. Shereen awesome. underscore Shereen M. Shereen underscore M. And then Upside Down Smiley and... A Boy With A Bag. Yes. Everywhere. So everywhere. Google, I need it. I've been trying that. to do it everywhere, but it's yeah. just hard. Upside down smiley is kind of long. But we love y'all. Goodbye. Well, I like a little jingle. Sad hustle just All right, guys. Back. So in, in a few months, uh, you can search for Shireen on Spotify. <laughs>